Hi there, I'm Mama Thoughts, and this is my brand new, I mean very brand new channel. Today I'm starting, it is called Mama Thoughts Recipes and More, and the and is the little and symbol, not A and D, if you want to find me. If you like me, you know what to do. Anyway, I'm going to introduce myself a little bit. Um, Today, I'm going to be, I won't put some flowers in a, in a vase. I think they're just so pretty on the table. I'm going to cook a meal. I'm going to do um, a swai. I think it's called swai. It's a white fish. It's very delicious. Not real fishy. I'm going to pan sear it. I'm going to make a creamy garlic risotto, hopefully, because sometimes the risotto is a little finicky. Fingers crossed. Also going to do a spinach salad with strawberries with a raspberry vinaigrette and some caramelized walnuts and pecans, I believe. It's gonna be very delicious. So first of all, um, my channel is Recipes and More because I wanna talk about current things. I love to talk about conspiracy theories. I love to talk about all kinds of stuff. And so I'm gonna try it. Let's see where it goes. First of all, here's my boss. And then I put this in there, the floral life, so it'll stay nice and and, and healthy. And cut some of this stuff off here. I'm gonna arrange this in this. I'm gonna show you when it's done afterwards. Listen, I am very unprofessional. Don't really know what I'm doing. And my my handsome. <laughs> Ooh, my handsome uh video man, my cameraman, and my set director. He is helping me. Let's let me get this done because I just love a pretty table. Let me see if I can get this in the shot. Put this in here. Ooh, pretty. Put some of the green ones in there. I love these little green ones. It's a pretty look. Some yellow, like the yellow rose of Texas. Okay, I know, don't sing. That's what my daughter would be saying, mom. It's all right. Here we go. Aw. Look guys, look how pretty. Well, all right, wait. Not really pretty yet. I'll meet you in the kitchen. We're gonna fry up that fish. So I'm getting my iron skillet going. Let's get it nice and hot. Even though I'm gonna be using olive oil, I always like to spray a little bit so that the fish won't stick. Here's some extra virgin olive oil. Thank you, honey, for opening that. Not too much, but yeah, I like that. My husband could drink olive oil. Okay, here's the swai fish. It's spelled S-W-A-I. On the other side, I already put some cayenne pepper. Oh, let's see. Lemon pepper. Because, you know, like they say on the Food Network, these different peppers hit your tongue in a different way. Just kidding. Garlic salt, my mainstay, my go-to. Okay, I need this pan nice and hot. Come on, pan, get hot on me. So I don't know how I've warped my iron skillet, but I, this iron skillet, if it could talk, it has been through, I think I've said it before, so many Sunday dinners. My grandmother, my granny, she used to make fried chicken dinners. Let me see if this is hot. It doesn't look very hot, come on. Um. Do a little t we'll do a little test. Oh, it's good. Okay. So she made fried chicken dinners. Oh my goodness. Every day, every day. Look at this little corn from that brown little bit. Get this nice and scared. I'm gonna step over to the sink and move my hands off. While this is cooking, I'm, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go ahead and 
also this, this, my father was a commercial fisherman and when he got older, he started being the cook on the board, on, on the boat. And this was his knife and it's been all over the world. So what we're gonna do, this is elephant garlic. This is for my risotto. So I have two cups of arborio rice. We're gonna use chicken broth, have a stick of butter, a lot of garlic, and some onion. Let me go ahead and get this done. Look at that beautiful garlic. This is called elephant garlic. You know when they're small, you just smash it with a knife and peel them all off. Let's go ahead and do this. All right. Push this over. We're gonna do a little bit of this. And about a half an onion. It's funny. Big Daddy and I, we have such different tastes. I love garlic. He loves onion. He always tells me, oh, the garlic is too assaulting. Nah. I love it. About that much. Okay. Let me get that over there. Let's go back over here. Mm, not yet. Let it keep going. Baby Bella mushrooms. So let me go ahead and get this done up. You don't cut all the way to the end. Give it a couple of little in betweeners. My life would make, became so much more easier when I learned how to really chop an onion. I think it's too small. Put this over here. Ooh, a little bit of the core, or whatever you call that. Just so you never lift the end of the knife. Just move it around this way. Kind of works good. I don't like my onion really really chop that. Okay, let's look at this fish. That's kind of tricky, I'll put more. Camden, Kaylin, my son, myself, my honey, and Emily. So let's keep this cooking. I got seven pieces of fish. Cook faster, fish. All right, let's go back over here. You can have, you're probably make everybody dizzy doing that. <laughs> you can go this way, it's okay. So normally with a small, this is what it does. You smash it. Ooh, not so much. I looked today for some kitchen gloves that you can use on your hands to cook with. Not that I worry about my hands getting dirty because I'm a I wash my hands like a nut job. But I didn't want my hands to smell like garlic and onions. That's alright. You know the onions didn't make my eyes water, but this elephant garlic. <laughs> It's making me water. I right, go over there. Cut the onions. Okay, let me get 
talk, honey. You don't have to be mute. Hello? He won't. He's like Brandon. I'm going to marry them together. Let's do one. Come on, one in the... Whatever. I know it looks like a lot of onions and garlic, but it really is going to give the risotto a really yummy flavor. Mama sauce, you're kind of overdoing it. I know, but I like it. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is going. I have my I like my middle special best. You're gonna burn yourself. Nope. Not doing my nails. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up some of the baby bell. While we're waiting, put this down a little bit. I'm making kind of a big chunk because my honey doesn't like mushrooms. He always picks out the mushrooms and puts them on my plate. Mm -hmm. I tried to convince him because he's really kind of a healthy eater kind of guy. How healthy they are, nutritious, but he's not falling for it. Or he doesn't believe me. Not falling for it because it's true. They are very healthy. Very nutritious. It's kind of a rough chop. They do shrink up and they cook. All right, guys, I will be back when I show you all my fish is cooked. Okay, here we are, back again. I'm gonna put about a half a stick of butter in my risotto pan. Get that get nice and hot. I'm waiting for the fish. It's a great fish. I, I, you know, you get a lot of buzz with, about tilapia, how it's not good. It comes from China. So, this comes from Vietnam. So, but it's really, really good. And I tell everybody, don't buy tilapia, don't buy tilapia. But here I am buying twice. I think it's good. Real cute. Let's take this up a little bit. Okay. And get this and make sure the butter is melting in the pan. We're going to put in our oh, we'll part of the equivalent of a small onion and one elephant garlic. that get all done up. Okay. So it's about a half a stick of butter, about one, I'm gonna double this. You could do half of it. About six tablespoons of olive oil, but you know, we have a large family. Okay. We have garlic, I'm going to use a little bit of garlic salt. I'm going to be careful why I'm still got it over. Oh my, oh my gosh, it's filled. These really good ones out on the other, on the outer edge. Okay, let's put this in there, baby. 
good. Yeah, do this until it's crispy. Cook. You want to get all those flavors of the garlic and the onions out, and it's going to be really good, guys. Get that there, perfect. And onion and garlic release all your goodness. Goodness. Two cups of. Well, it's gonna be risotto, but it's arboreal rice. Plain rice. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then to that, we're gonna add six cups of broth. And the thing about this is you gotta keep it stirred. not really a rice or a pasta that you cover it's a constant stirring once it gets started okay we're gonna give that olive oil you know that it's not bad for you it's delicious do you ever want to make sure that your fish is done? This is the saddest part. Is it going to soak on me? Oh yeah. It's beautiful. So flaky and beautiful. This fish is still a little bit frozen. That's why all the sound of the moisture. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very much for the result So I don't even know, guys, but grow with me as I'm learning and my husband how we're going to actually do this. <laughs> I mean, if I was near the Fox Queen, she'd help me, but she's a few hours away. So what did y'all think about that Super Bowl last night? Wow, my, my son, Jason, is a cheese nut. He's been a cheese fan since he was over there to save cheese. So he was very, very excited. I'm not really a big football person, but in my house, we are definitely a house divided. My husband is a Cowboys fan. Marcus, my oldest son, he loves his Steelers. And Jason is a Chief. So, but what about that halftime show? I thought that was pretty amazing. The Latina women, they were, they did really good. I know everybody has a favorite. Shakita, Shakita, Shakita. That woman, oh my goodness. She's something else. Okay, I'll be back with you. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and we'll show you how we're gonna finish it off. Stirring, stirring, stirring. I'm gonna teach this to work her. Be back in a minute. Okay. So here, we, when the water, or not the water, the broth and the risotto be, came to a good boil, then I went ahead and add the mushrooms. 
And let me just say this. I like to taste things as we go along because that's how I do this. So I tasted the broth as it was, it was delicious. But I'm telling you, you better be a garlic lover. Or if you want to keep away the vampires, use one of those big heads of elephant garlic because it is delicious, flavorful, very garlicky. It is really good. So the thing with the risotto is if you need to add more liquid, then you need to add more liquid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it's, if it's tender. No. Mm, not quite. So we keep going. It's very tasty though. I can already tell I'm gonna have to have a little bit more liquid. So I had a little bit more of this in the in the fridge and a little bit. Because as it cooks and it becomes tender, it will absorb that liquid. This is one thing, this is something that you'll have to just continuously stir. It's almost like a pudding. I can remember watching Gordon Ramsay one. Oh, he was, he's mean, scary. I've been hating to cook in his kitchen. The risotto is hard. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, come back to your temper. Turn it up just a smidge. See, now I could have put a little bit more mushroom in there, but I didn't. I could use all the little baby Bellas. Little baby portabellas. So my fish is in the oven, staying warm. Everybody's still at work. So this is perfect timing. But if they come in, I'll make them say hello. How's that? Looks like it's getting really yummy. Do you see how creamy it is? It is yummy. Come on, come to a bowl and absorb a little bit more of that liquid. When it's done, I'll be back. And then we'll put our salad together and we'll sit and eat. Thank you guys. Alrighty, here we go. We have the risotto with the mushrooms. It tastes really good. So the trick to this is if your risotto or your rice is not tender, just add a little bit more broth and keep going. This is perfect. I told my husband it almost looks like oatmeal with raisins, but it doesn't taste that way. Then we have our fish over here, our risotto. We're gonna go over here. Here is our strawberry salad. What I did was I took some baby spinach, put it in here, slice up some strawberries. It's not even the season for strawberries, but they taste really good, even though they don't look it. Then I got this, the raspberry cranberry walnut frisco, or you can use slivered almonds or whatever you wanna do. And normally what I would do is I would go ahead and just pour the, you know, the dressing on the salad but not everybody's here. So what I'll do is I will pour some on my serving. All right, guys, I'm gonna plate it up and I'll be right back with Hi you. Hi guys, here we go. I have my plate. I have my spinach, strawberry, walnut, cranberry salad, my creamy risotto with portobello mushrooms and my fly fish. Does that look delicious? It is, it's really steaming and yummy looking. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this in there. This is Newman's raspberry walnut vinaigrette. It's a little bit, let's see. I've never tasted this one. Let me see how it is. First of all, thank you, Father, for this food. Bless it, sanctify it. Bless all of my, my people. Bless everybody who's watching. Abundantly. <laughs> Here we go. Let me see. Mm hmm That's really good. Raspberry walnut. It's delicious. It's really yummy. So, 
I haven't got my food into the shot. I guess we'll do my pretty flowers. And take a bite. I'm just wanting the spinach. Mmm. So good. Mmm. I like water. Never had it, but it looked pretty. You know me, flowers. Mm-hmm. Salad is good. I guess I have to learn how to put it like this. You can tell I'm unprofessional. This is a raw video. Here we go. We taste the risotto. Yummy. It looks delicious. Mmm. It's so good. But you better be, you can put less garlic. I happen to love garlic. And um, that being said, when my husband and I said, taste this, honey, taste it, see if it tastes good. He goes, mmm, very healthy. I'm like, healthy? He goes, yeah, garlic's very healthy. <laughs> mm hmm. Mmm. It's good. I like this. Everything is delicious. If I do say so myself. Oh, and I am saying so. So, only thing I forgot. I forgot lemon. And next time, I'll have my plate appear like this. Maybe have a little higher. Hide the chins. Mm hmm. The magic of videos. Mm hmm. Honey, you want to join me? Oh, come on. It's so good. You want to wait for everybody else? Please try the risotto. I'll put um, the recipe, although I showed you in the comments, since I don't have a community page. I'll put it in the comments. It's so good. Only trick is just keep adding a little bit of liquid if the risotto is not tender. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's so good. Well, that's not very nice to keep saying it's so good, it's so good, because I cooked it. Oh, well, false humility. It's good. Mmm. -hmm. This was a good little video. I'll just to let you guys know who I am, <clears throat> what I'm about, and hopefully next time we talk, and I eat and cook and I'll have some juicy content. But this one was just an opening one. And so that being said, I'm going to sign off, finish my meal and clean the kitchen. And next time I promise I'll have something to put my plate on. Love you guys. Turn it off.